Hi, I'm Chef Owen Tilly, and I want to welcome you to this week's installment of Ask the Chef. Now today we're answering the question, what species of fish are available in the springtime? And this comes from Sam, one of our Twitter followers. Well, on the East Coast, spring is here and alive and the fish are popping. Three of the most exciting species I'm going to share with you today. And the first is haddock. Now, haddock is a larger fish, very similar to cod in flavor, texture, and size, meaning that it's nice, white, flaky, mild-tasting white fish. It's one of America's favorite. Although you can find it throughout the year, right now is the time that the season really starts to begin. The next fish I want to share with you is brook trout. Now, brook trout can be found anywhere where there's cold water in a stream, pond, or lake. And up here in New England, we have a lot of cold water. Now, these grow really quickly, and each, each season produces a huge biomass. Now, the flesh can be either anywhere from golden all the way to pink like a salmon. And one of the interesting things about it is that the scales are so small that it actually appears as, as skin. But, as always, you want to remove the scales before you start to cook it. The other available species on the East Coast during the spring is striped bass. Now, striped bass is a great game fish. And here I have just a couple of the small ones for you. These are about 12 inches. Now, in the wild, they do grow a whole lot larger. And I have caught a 42-inch striped bass that weighed over 20 pounds. And that was really, really good and a lot of fun to fish as well. One thing about the fish is that it does have a little bit of oil in it and that which protects it uh, during the winter before it starts to spawn in the spring. Now this gives it a really, really flavorful bite, but it's still light and flaky. Now moving over to the west coast, I've got a couple of species for there to share with you as well. Uh, the first one is flounder. Now we refer to this flounder as winter flounder because during the winter it moves inland to warmer waters and in the spring it does the exact reverse, moves out to colder water. Now it's just like any other flounder or sole that you'll find, meaning that it's nice and thin, it's great for broiling or even pan frying, and it's a mild flaky white fish. The last species I want to talk about is squid. Now if squid sounds like bait to a lot of you out there, just call it calamari, but uh, no matter what you call it, it's really good and really versatile. I like to take the tube, which is this part, and once you clean it, it's great for stuffing. You can also slice it into rings, or you can slice it into a sheet and roll it and stuff it. And the tentacles down here, here these are even edible as well, but first you have to take out the beak, which is the mouth that it crushes up the shellfish that it eats. Well, I want to thank Sam for asking the question, what species of seafood are available during the spring? And as usual, you keep asking, I'll keep cooking.